I have a lot of expectations for this series. I love the fact that we have something being done with such quality that speaks not only to the power of the Bible, but also speaks to the sense of excellence with which we all want to see the story lived out. Surely a Messiah wouldn't leave us like this. A Messiah should be a, a warrior, a conqueror like David. Judas, force is not the way. So tell me what the way of Messiah is. He's different. But Mary, what if he's not the one? We're risking our lives. For what? He has shown us his power. We must have faith in him. This is one of my favorite stories in the New Testament. And I can imagine the sense of anxiety, the sense of frustration, the sense of being scared for the disciples who are in the boat. And all of a sudden, here comes Jesus. First, they didn't know who he was, they thought he was a ghost. But this idea that Jesus is there to rescue, he's always there to rescue us. So let's take a look at this clip. No, Thomas! It's Jesus! He is the Messiah. Peter. You need to be strong. Not only is he powerful, not only is he our God in the sense that he can walk on water, but he's also our peacemaker. He's also our comforter. And what we learn from Peter is that when he was focused on Jesus, he also was able to walk on water. But when he took his eyes off him, he started to sink. So regardless of our circumstances, we all need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. How did this happen? What are we going to do? Change the world. We will bring a new age of righteousness and justice. His power will draw all men to a new world. All people! I've had reports of the young prophet of Nazareth. It's rumored he works miracles. They all do. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God.